One of the comments that showed up on the blog post about using three-tiered with data sets in the object data source was, how do we set this up so that we can swap out the DAO? The simple answer is, roll your own table adapter. Today's video is the first installment in how you might do that. So you'll see we've already created a new address table adapter. This address table adapter class is actually replacing this address table adapter class here that Microsoft generated for us. Now to get this to work correctly, we're going to have to do a couple things. First is we're going to need to get our own connection. Uh, Microsoft actually does, does that in their table adapter uh, classes and we're going to have to do our own. So I'm going after the uh, connection string and create my own connection object here. And down here I've got my own get data method. This is replacing the get data method uh, that we already had in the table adapter that Microsoft created for us. So we create a new command object. Tell it that it's a stored procedure. When we create the command object. And see, we'll, we'll pass the connection into it. Create our own data set. And then here's the magic right here. ds.address is the address table dot load. And then execute data, uh, execute reader is going to fill the address table with the data from the get address stored proc. Close our connection and then return the address table just like we did uh, when Microsoft was doing this work for us. Now if we go over and look at our business logic layer you'll see that the only thing that we had to do here was uh, we had, remember, created a uh, adapter property at this level and it was the address table adapter that Microsoft had created for us. Now I commented that out so you could see it was still there and what we've done is we've replaced it with our own address table adapter and everything else works exactly the same. See we're still returning the address data table uh, from our data set and that's all we have to worry about when we're working at the uh, uh, business logic layer and the presentation layer. So it all stays the same. If we run this code with just those few changes we're now running the same application but we're running it with our own table adapter.